ginger and chickpea, delicious flavor. Boil up the couscous while we cook a pint of Hello! This is Faris and this is Milo and in this video we're going to make... Veggie kebabs! Brilliant! Have you washed your hands Faris? Yes. Have you Milo? Yes. I've washed mine. Have you washed yours? Brilliant. Let's cook along. So Faris, tell me what ingredients we've got. Tomatoes. Do you know what these are? Courgettes. Courgettes. Um, onion. Onions. And? Mushrooms. And do you know what this is? This is olive oil. Milo, tell me what utensils we need. We've got? Kitchen paper. Brilliant. Skewers. Paintbrush. Or a pastry brush. A cutlery. Knife. A sharp. Knife. Measuring spoons. A little bowl. What's this? chopping board and a colander. Brilliant! So the first thing we need to do is put on the grill onto high heat. It gets hot really quickly so be careful. If you have a barbecue and the weather's nice you could put this on instead. You'll need an hour beforehand just to start it up. Cooking on a barbecue is something for adults to do because it can be extremely hot. Today we're using wooden skewers so what we need to do is actually soak them in some water to begin with. It takes a couple of moments to get them ready, but it will stop them from burning on the grill. What we need to do then, Milo and Faris, we need to get the vegetables nice and clean, so we need to give them a good wash. Who's going to do the washing today? How about, Milo, you wash the vegetables and Faris, you can do the mushrooms for me. Is that okay? Brilliant. So, Milo, I'm going to pop these in there, and then we need to take you to the sink. And there we go. Come on then, come with me Milo, we're going to wash them. <laughs> Just give those rub down underneath the water then for me Milo. So Faris, what we need to do is give these a quick wipe. We've got some wet kitchen paper here and we need to get our mushroom and just give it a quick wipe and then the clean ones we'll put to the side. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Wow, you boys are busy, there we go. We use a wet damp cloth or kitchen paper because if you put them underneath running water or into a bowl of water, mushrooms are like a sponge so they soak up really quickly. That's perfect, just pop it on the side just to get the most of it off. Brilliant Faris, well done. Come on then, let's give that a bowl a shake. That's fine, there we go. There we go Mina, come with me. Whilst Faris is getting on with the mushrooms, I'm going to get Milo to actually chop up the courgette for me. There's your board then, Milo. Let's pop that in front for you. So, Milo, I'd like you to cut them into nice little rounds. Something that's not too thick, because we want them to all be roughly the same size, the vegetables. So we're going to cut them down, straight down, and move it to the side. Good boy. Yeah, you're very, very strong. Yes, you need to be very strong. Wow, it's like a saw. Good work, fantastic. Keep going. There we go. Chop you down, chop you down, chop you down, down, down. Well done. I'll pull the ones that you need chopping in half to the side. Do your bear claw, do you remember? Keep your fingers together. There we go. Aww. That's it. Wow, you did it! Good You're very boy, tough at the back. fantastic. Whilst you're doing that, Faris, Milo, you finished your courgettes. I'm going to get you to pick the tomatoes off the vine for me, and I'm going to start chopping up the onion. What we're going to do is use our bridge technique. I'm going to chop the end off first and cut through the middle, keeping the root on. And we're going to give it a peel. Well done, Faris. You've done loads. We need to make all our vegetables even sizes so it will yeah. cook much quicker and at the same rate, otherwise we don't want pieces to burn. So what we're going to do is use our bridge to cut through into quarters. So it's one through the middle yeah. and two across and then claw to slice down through the middle. Our courgettes and our onions are roughly the same size as well as our mushroom and tomato. Okay. So Ferris, I think you're done there. Let's get making, shall we? We're going to take one of our skewers and thread the courgette and the onion and the mushroom and the tomato. So I'm going to give you four each. One lot of four for you and one lot of four for you. And then I'm going to give you a bit of everything. So we're going to give Milo some mushrooms. And, whoa, they're rolling. 
Oh, they're escaping! And use some tomatoes, and then we need to spit up the onion and the courgette too. So, there we go. Grab a skewer for me. Get the pointy end up. That way round. This way round. That's it. Pop your mushroom on the top and push it right down to the bottom. And we're using it a bit like a plug for all the rest of the other vegetables. Do you want to give a little bit of space so we've got some holding space? You need to leave probably three fingers worth might be a good idea. There we go. So you've got that and you can hold the bottom. Milo's put courgette on. What would you like to put on? I would do it different colours so then that way it shows it, make it makes it really pretty. And give it a little bit of space in between so then you've also got a bit of room so that they get to cook evenly as well. Where's your onion? Stick your onion on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You right and with that? Onion. Well done. Yeah. That's quite a good way. Faris used his two fingers either side. So he put the pressure on each side of the onion and then he let the skewer come up through the middle. Keep going. That's perfect. Let's put that one on the board. Whilst the boys are actually finishing off all the skewers and using up all the vegetables to do this. Ah. Thank you Milo, that's fantastic. Get on with the next one. We are going to finish this all off. Why don't you finish yours all off and press pause now and we'll come back to you in a moment. Thanks, Faris. So we've got actually quite a few vegetables and fruit left over. What I'll do is probably just pack them all up and put them back in the fridge for another time. Or you can eat them, up to you. So what we're going to do is give the boys back some of their kebabs. There we go, Miley. Let's give you ones that you made. Look, you made that special tomato one for yourself, didn't you? And I think that was yours because you had an extra big bit on the end. I think they're yours and they're yours, Faris. And then I've got a paintbrush or pastry brush you can use. And then I'm going to put a teaspoon of the olive oil into here. And then I need you to use your brush to cover the skewers in oil. Just give them a little bit of a rub down. So there's your olive oil, boys. Help yourself. Milo, and then hold your skewer and give it a paint up and down, a stroke up and down. That's it, well done. There we go. So make sure that you turn them all over and that you cover all the sides. Brilliant, Faris, well done. Thank you, Milo. So what we're going to do now is actually get our cool grill pan ready to put underneath the grill and place all the kebabs on. Do you want to give me a hand? We're going to lay them across, give them all a little bit of a space like that. That's perfect. We can make some room. So we're going to put them underneath the grill now. There we go. Press pause now and catch up with us in a moment. Using our oven gloves, we're going to pull the tray out. And then what we're going to do is turn them over every two to three minutes to make sure that we don't burn our skewers or the food. It gives them even cooking. There we are. They'll take 10 minutes overall. We need to check them again in another couple of minutes. We'll see you in a moment. Press pause now. So we have our oven gloves on, ready to get them out of the grill. Let's go. There we go. Don't touch the grill, it's extremely hot, okay. Shut the oven door. Let's pop them on the plate. Faris, what was your favourite part of doing these vegetable kebabs? Um, the painting of the oil. Pointing a, painting of the oil? What about you, Milo? I like the painting of the oil. You like painting of the oil? Yeah, wow. So there we have it, vegetable kebabs. If you'd like to have a go at another recipe, there are more cook-alongs for you to explore. We'd love to see what you made, take pictures and tweet them to at eat happy project hashtag let's cook along did you enjoy that yeah say goodbye boys bye bye bye, bye.